hi guys welcome back again to my channel today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this cute summer dress as you can see this is a tear dress with um infinity top so let me just quickly analyze the dress for you as you can see it has three layers at the down part and it has a band a waistband then the upper part okay this is the fabric that i'm going to be using and most of the patterns basically everything are rectangular pieces so you can just cut them out as rectangular pieces no pattern is needed so these are mine i have cut them out i'm going to be showing them all to you one by one so here is my top layer i'm going to be telling you the size of it i want my total down part to be 20 inches long so depending on how long you want it to be if you want to use 20 inches exactly then you can use my measurement okay so this is okay this is the top layer i want to keep my labeling on it just so i don't mix it up so and uh, it is super long as you can see i cut through the entire span of a three yard uh fabric but uh to give you a specific calculation what you should do is to measure your waist circumference and multiply it by two if you don't want a lot of volume but if you want your volume to look exactly like that picture then you should multiply your waist measurement by three or by four maximum but then you should consider the density of the fabric you're working with okay if your fabric is very heavy then you should not exceed like waist circumference multiply by three but if your fabric is light then you can go up to waist circumference multiply by four as the span of your layers okay so for me i just used my waist circumference multiplied by four is 104 and that is three yard span all right so the length of this is 10 inches the length of this is 10 inches and the width is my waist circumference multiply by four okay so that's the top layer and the middle layer so here is my middle layer and it's also 10 inches long and the span of it is my waist circumference multiplied by four okay but this particular layer is going to be having a lining attached to it so here is the lining of this middle layer okay it's going to be attaching to the top of the middle layer like this and it has the same span as this but it is just five inches wide and the bottom layer has also the same span and it is nine inches wide and it's also going to be having a lining and here is a lining which also has the same span and my lining for this bottom layer is 11 inches wide i'll set that also aside and here is my waistband my waistband it's just five inches wide and the length of it is my waist circumference plus one inch and i also have a lining for that which is exact same size set that aside and here are the fabrics i cut out for my top part okay they are still rectangular pieces for now but there is something i'm going to be doing to it just to give it special shape and you know just to make everything look good i'm going to be setting this aside and i will show you i'll be showing you all about it later in the video let's focus on the down part make sure the down part is done then we are going to be going to the top okay all right guys before we proceed with the sewing i'm just going to quickly show you this product that i got from silk silky.com you guys are definitely going to love this i got a package exactly looking like this and i'm going to open it so that we all see what we have in there it's a surprise guys i don't know if you guys can guess can someone just guess what's in there if you think you have an idea what's in there at least from the name you should be able to guess <laughs> so if you have an idea just type in the comment section before you continue you watching look at this guys oh is the packaging for me guys you know when you open a box and it just feels like you shouldn't even unravel what it's in there like that's the kind of feeling i'm getting with this i just feel like i shouldn't take out this like look at this oh my god here is my pajamas i think i need to learn from these people i need to learn how to 
package how to fold like this so you guys can see that this is such a perfect product that you can use as a gift for someone your loved one parent your friends see how clean the stitches are this is what i always preach on my channel you guys you know that if i want to make something i just try to achieve something clean like this look at how clean this is guys they have it in different sizes i got mine in size s it's two pieces long sleeve they have different types they have short ones they have long ones they have dresses different different types for maybe a birthday valentine's day new year gift and christmas and you know if you want to buy this for your friend and you write a note in your order they can actually provide you with a customized card they can customize a, a card for you and write whatever note you want on it so this is just a perfect gift option i'm going to be providing a link to this if you want to order for yourself or for gift i'm going to provide the link in the description box for you guys and there is a discount code the code is dummy 10 if you use this code you are going to be getting a discount on your purchases so first i have my bottom layer right here so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to be joining the bottom layer together with the lining of the bottom layer and i'll be joining them right sides facing each other along the span Okay, I'll place them like this and I will be joining along all through the span. Join them both together. Okay, I will do that. And I also grab my middle layer and I'm going to be repeating the same thing. Right side of the middle layer, facing the right side of the lining of the middle layer. And I'm going to be joining them also together all through the span. I will do that then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so I have done that and here is what it's looking like okay so um i have joined it together with the lining and this is what the mid layer looks like and the top layer also looks exactly the same as you can see so now we are going to be combining the three layers together now this is the top layer remember the top layer has no lining so i am going to be placing <coughs> the top layer down like this this is the right side i'll place the right side on my table then i would bring the mid layer is the mid one okay so i'll place the mid layer on top of the top layer like this matching them along the waist this is the waistline now then i will bring in the bottom layer and i'll also place it the right side is facing the wrong side of this so i place them like this okay so i will also add it so the three of them are together now so then i'll take this to my machine and i will run a gather stitch all along the entire waistline all through then i will pull the gathers and make sure that i'll make sure that the skirt after gathering it it equals to the size of my waist circumference all right so once i'm done making my gathers this is what i have my lower part is almost ready the three layers are done my gathers are done and this is what it looks like on the wrong side so just to point out to you that i left one inch of my zipper allowance here on gathered and also on the other side i left also one inch on gathered on the other side so i'll set my skirt aside now so i can work on the upper part so the first thing i have here is my front the front of the top and that's going to cover the under bust to the shoulder okay so how you should get this is you should measure from your under bust to your shoulder my under bust to shoulder is 14 okay so i added one inch to that and for the width i made it 17 inches you can make it 16 or you can make it half of your waist circumference okay since here is going to be my shoulder area i don't want the shoulder to be as wide as the part that comes to my waist okay and this is what i'm going to do in order to reduce this part i'm going to fold this in half like this then on this folded part i'm going to be taking just five inch so i'm going to be taking just five inches i will mark that then from this point i'm going to be cutting diagonally all the way to this corner so by the time i open this up i will have something that looks like this so then to the part that is going to be completing the strap because we are going to be tying this on the neck and this 
one has to depend the length of this strap has to depend on how you want yours to be if you want it to just be tied on on your um at the back of your neck and just end there then it shouldn't be very long but if you want it to be infinity style like mine then you need it as long as possible so this is my strap i have two pieces as well just because i have two pieces for this one is going to go with this one and the second is going to go with the second strap okay so now that i have it looking like this i am going to start joining okay by the way let me show you the size of this strap it is 10 inches wide all right and the length is yeah the length is 48 inches then what i'm going to do now is to stitch this together like this by half inch all the way to the end and just to add a little bit of spice cut this part diagonally like this i went ahead and stitched it down just like i said and now i am going to be turning it inside out from this place okay i repeat the same thing to the second strap as well so after flipping this to the right side i am going to be working on the front so place it right side facing each other and you are going to be stitching by half inch here and by half inch here so now that that has been done this is what i have so the next thing i will do is i will bring in my strap the strap that i already stitched and flipped to the right side i'm going to be putting it in between this one like this okay and then i will stitch it down so now that that has been stitched this is what i have then i am going to simply pull it out and this is what I have. So I will give it a good press and I'm going to be repeating the same thing to the second side as well. So I'll be having two of this. All right, guys. So once that is done, now I'm going to be working on my belt. I have the main fabric belt and the lining belt. They are the exact same size and it's just my waist circumference measurement plus one inch sewing allowance on here. I mean one inch zipper allowance, same as this. So now I'm going to be attaching it on my main skirt and this is how I'm going to be doing it. Lining side to the lining side, just like that. Then I'll grab my main fabric belt, I'll place it right sides facing each other here as well, okay? Then I will go ahead and stitch it down all the way through. So as you can see, that has been stitched down and it looks like this at this point and on the wrong side it looks clean like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do do not the midpoint i have already done that and from that midpoint i'm going to be taking eight inches to the left okay and eight inches to the right so i have my two points eight inches here and eight inches here and that point is going to guide me in attaching the straps. So I have my straps right here. Remember the strap we made? Let me just show you real quick that this wide part right here is going to go to this waistline. So I'll put this end and put it here. And this one should go to the center here, but I'm going to go in a little bit by about half inch. So that the front can overlap a little bit. So I'll pin that down and I'm going to pleat the excess. Okay, I will repeat the same thing to the second one. Okay, so when you are done pinning it like that, you will now flip it this way. Okay, so that you can add the lining to it. Like this. And you grab both of them together now. So you grab the two raw edges of the band together now and you stitch it. That's what you're going to do all through. Your skirt is going to pretty much be at the middle. You will do everything like this and you will stitch it down. And when you're done stitching it down, then you pull it out and turn it to the right side. so now that that has been done this is what i have we are almost done guys so the last and final thing to do now is to put the two back um center backs together just like this 
and I will stitch a little bit and stop somewhere here and then I will fix my zipper on the other part okay I do have a video on how to insert zipper actually not a video I have tons of videos showing you guys how to insert a zipper I'll post the link in the description or at the end or it's gonna pop up now so that's going to be the end of this uh, video guys if you like the video remember to hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more interesting sewing tutorials and I hope I will see you in the next one bye Empty hearts and